All right, we're back. It's uh, it's seven days after we did our work. Um, it's probably the worst day in the world to be doing this. We got rain. It just stopped raining. The bees are out and about. They're gonna be ornery. Not the time to do it, but we have a seven to 10 day window. Um, come back and check for queen cells. Make sure we have queen cells. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm standing right by the entrance. This one was reversed last week, so. They're a little ornery, but uh, we need to get through it. And in this seven to ten day window here in Louisiana, uh, it's supposed to rain every day. So I'm gonna inspect them between the storms. Um, not a thing to do, but I mean, sometimes you do what you gotta do. And that's what we're gonna do today. Cause I need to get through them. I need to go through. And what I'm gonna do today is in my vertical splits, I'm gonna go through and, and check uh, which hive made the cells, the queen cells, the new queens, which should be the bottom hive if the queen was on top. And I'm going to prune them out. I'm going to find cells that look like itty bitty little finger thimbles, and I'm going to take those out and keep anywhere from four to five really good, pretty cells. Uh, if I have a whole bunch of cells, I'm actually going to split some of those queen cells off to another nuclear box in the back. I call it nuclear, it's nucleus. Um, but, uh, and add some bees, and I'm going to make a third hive. Because uh, I got a few people needing some bees that were wanting some. I told them I'd help them out. And we're going to work out a deal. But anyway, that's the plan. Now, if you remember this hive last week, we had super seizure cells in the top, meaning they were replacing their queen. We never found the queen, so we left those up top. And we're going to go ahead and go in the bottom and see if they made queen cells. If they did not, that means the queen was still there. She's down there. And they're planning on keeping her. We may leave her there. Uh, we will leave her there. Um, I don't want to check any of the cells, uh, the hives today that I know have queens. I'm going to just take the top off, check the bottoms, because it's just a bad day to do this. So, I want to get in and out and also beat the next rain squall that comes through. And, uh, and it's not good for the bees to be tearing through them. They're just now starting to fly a little bit. They're getting out, they're checking things out, but as soon as the rain comes, they're heading back and I'll have every one of them inside. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and suit up and uh, go ahead and get this gig on the I'm gonna roll again, just to be sure. If you're first time catching this video, uh, I'm not a, I'm not an expert, a how-to guy. I've been doing this a, a, a few years now. You know, we're going on six years, I guess. And I just do this for my Facebook followers to give them uh, an idea of what we're doing to split the hives. And I explained in my last video what a vertical split is. So again, we're gonna go back through see if we've got queens being made. If we do all as well, we leave them alone for three weeks and go back and see if our queens are laying. Uh, Somewhere in that time, we'll take this top box off that's split now and we'll move it. We had 30 degree weather last four days, so these vertical splits were critical. The heat was being shared, so that's a great thing. Um, I did a few traditional splits and I'll have to check on those uh, when the weather breaks. Uh, make sure we didn't have any chilled brood in there, but uh, we'll see. They're very resilient, they're very forgiving. Uh, so we just move on with it, take care of them best we can, and, and we're gonna see what we got now. So we're gonna get into this one real quick. Um, now I may check the top box on this one only because we have uh, we had super procedure cells. I want to see if we if they may have t torn them down. I want to see what's going on. Maybe there's more cells. Maybe they realized there wasn't a queen and they made even more. I don't know. So a lot of things can happen. These bees do stuff you just you don't even know what's going to go on sometimes. You just got to roll with it and be flexible. Uh, same with the weather. You just got to be flexible with the weather. So while this is not ideal, it's the time we have this weekend. Here we go. I'm gonna get my hive tool and we're gonna get started. Get a good bunch of smoke going and see where we're at. So here we go. Hardest part of being a beekeeper. Keeping the smoker lit sometimes, I tell you. I'm actually using a new material, so using a what we call back home croaker sack, a burlap sack. I like it. I used it last time, it works well. It's just you gotta pump on it every now and then to keep it going. So here we go. Again, we're gonna take the top one off. This is a whole hive at this point. That's a 
today if the bees are mean. It's nobody's fault but my own. Let me focus this camera down. Nobody's fault but my own. I might zoom in a little bit so we can. There we go. We'll see what we can find out here. I think I got the resolution right on this one. Uh, the camera battery had died completely for a while. And so it defaulted to factory settings, which was not the best quality. All right. Full of bees. That's a good thing. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. Let me look. They. Oh, yeah, they're upset. They ate through all that newspaper we put down. So that means they were sharing heat. And they got used to each other's scent for a little while. Got some hive beetles in here. Right. Usually wouldn't give them quite that much smoke, but I'm gonna tell you it's not a it's not a good day to do this. Gonna, might have to even slow down a little bit today. I guess if you're at home taking a nap on a nice rainy day, it'd be the same way. Look at the beetles, my goodness. Hive beetles. I don't like hive beetles. Look at them all. Hive beetles, they don't kill the hive. What happens is when the colony gets weak, they take over the hive. So we're gonna actually put a trap in this one. Little vegetable oil. Uh, when it's trapped, the bees chase them in there, the beetles die. Strong colonies will control your beetles. This is not a bad colony, so I'm kind of surprised. Anyway. My goodness. This is unusual after coming out of winter like this. I should have. And we don't, we do more harm than good sometimes. We open them up, the bees have them all trapped in the one spot, and then we come around and open them up and we let them loose. And we get some smoke on this. Yeah, they're, these bees aren't happy. But we'll be, we'll be quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a lot of honey. So chances are, do a quick scan for the queen. Man, oh man, the beetles. We've got to get some traps in here. We're going to do that before we close up. into some pollen now. This is... See no queen yet. This is one of those things you do when you go, oh, it's going to be one of those days. Well, we got brood. Captain broods. That could be old. But I don't know. That's... I think we may have a queen down here. Let's look. Nope, there's a cell. That's a swarm cell, normally on the bottom like that. So that means the queen is probably in here and they were planning on swarming. 
We'll see. We got to see if there's more cells. stinging and attacking but they're getting irritated they're letting me know hey why are you here why are you bothering us the thing that's unusual is having only one swarm cell it's a very unusual usually they have plenty Beetles are unreal. Look at the beetles. high swarms we can be in a mess. Those beetles will take it over. Another thing, you can tell they're getting ready to swarm, they're gorging on their honey. The honey is almost out of this box now. But one swarm cell, that's very unusual. So we'll probably end up combining this again, back with the top. all their honey some would say that's because I smoked them but most of their honey's gone from last week we're gonna go ahead and put this together because this is becoming unproductive Another item just to mention that makes this difficult to find the queen is if they are getting ready to swarm, they have skinnied her up, they've chased her down. Uh, she loses weight, they run her all over the hive, so she's actually a little skinnier than normal so she can fly. Um, so sometimes that, that makes it where the size doesn't stand out quite as much. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
for chickens, turkeys, and all that. I use it. I put a little this bowl in here. Set that here. I'm gonna open this hive back up really quick. I'm gonna put this right here. In between the frames, and now, hopefully the bees will chase the beetles in there. Alright. That's that. So this is typical rainy weather. This is what's going to happen. We're going to give them some smoke. We're going to go ahead and open this top one anyway. Let me find out what's happening. I imagine there'll be beetles in this one too. Not terrible. And I like the bottom. I guess they're all trapped in the bottom. We're gonna find out what's happening here. See if we still got a queen cell, see if we've got more queen cells. I think she's in the bottom though. I didn't look for eggs because the bees were too rowdy. No sense in keeping them stirred up. Yeah, see what we have here is empty brood. Cap brood. Yeah, there's some cells. Okay, this is where our... So we know our queen is definitely in the bottom. We have cells here, queen cells, I mean emergency cells. They've made which we had a couple last week and those might be them but there's they would have already been torn down and opened up and there's an additional one now that's not a very beautiful one but we have the one from last week there it is so basically the queen is in the bottom we know that and I prune these out these are beautiful I'm going to leave that one alone. Normally we'll prune them out, but I'm not going to. So really, this box should be on the bottom. But I got a queen cell down there. I'm going to leave it. I think they're going to swarm and we're going to recombine with a new queen. See if we got any more cells. Yeah, so them making an additional um, queen cell or two, that tells me that uh, they realized, super procedure or not, there was no other queen up here. So they were going to make a cell. They were going to they were going to make sure and take care of themselves. And that's what they do. 
So what we have to do is, and, and apparently what happened, I'll go into that, but apparently the, the bottom has the old queen and they're getting crowded already, so they're gonna leave. That's because they didn't make emergency sales. But the one thing I say that's strange is for that to be a swarm sale, to only have one, that's very unusual. But they were superseding their queen at one point, so maybe she's just failing. Who knows? There's, it could be a couple of those reasons. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to leave this thing alone. I'm going to let them make some queens. I'm gonna see what happens in the bottom. If they swarm, I'll recombine them. But actually, this, this hive looks pretty good. Did not have a queen land. We're gonna put it back together. We'll think on that one a little bit, but we're just gonna leave it. Normally what I would do, now if this is a regular split, and we had split the boxes, and this, we never had super procedure, just say we split them without knowing where the queen was, which I have a few down there that I did. We know the queen's on the bottom, I would normally switch her back up top. That way this one would thrive, because it's got the most honey. But with the way they're acting right now, and, and being in the rain and all, it's just not the time. Um, just not the time. So we're just watch them. If for some reason that's a swarm cell, which I think it is, we'll watch them if they leave. We'll recombine them and strengthen them back up. We'll still have one hive. They'll go off in the woods somewhere and uh, do what bees do. But uh, that's about it, really. So that's a follow-up to it. Um, I wish it had been a more standard split so you could see it, but I've tried to explain what I would do and what the scenarios are. But as you can see, these bees, they take care of themselves. They, uh, they do what it takes to, to, to sustain themselves. A lot of times, the beekeepers have the problem. So, anyway, I'll post this up, uh, link it on Facebook again, follow up with any notes I may have, tell y'all what happened once I figure out where the queens are and what happens, and you know, later today, if, if the rain stays away and the bees all calm down, I might switch the boxes and move my, my swarming queen up here. Or whatever queen, I just, again, I don't know. That's the funny thing about them. The rest were all standard, this one's just a little, the rest were standard splits. This one is, is uh, just one of those that, that makes you scratch your head. So you kind of let them do what they're gonna do and you don't force them. You just figure out what they're gonna do and follow their lead, so. All right, well that's about it for now. You can see they're, they're everywhere. Again, they're not stinging, they're just, I worked on a buddy's hive the other day and there was a lot of honey in it. I think that's what they're doing. They're all over this honey on my hands. I don't know. All right, well that's all for now. All right, so I went ahead and I moved over to this other hive. And by the way, I did end up switching, <clears throat> reversing those boxes. But I went over to this hive real quick this was a standard split. I've already pulled the top hive off that we split. That's where the queen was. We saw her, so she, we know she was there. They'd already trued through about this much paper, and there we go. See how rowdy they're getting? This is definitely one of my hives that's not a half hive. So in the rain, it doesn't help. But we're gonna go through, take a look, see what we got for queen cells. Okay? So there is no queen down here and we made sure eggs were down here. So here's how the bees do it. This is a standard split. We know the queen's in there. I'm not going to mess with her right now. She's doing what she's doing. Plenty of honey. So they got food. We're going to see what, make sure they're making a queen for us. For themselves. Otherwise we have to recombine them. No cells. Looking for queen cells. Looking for queen cells. Looking for queen cells. Ooh, look at them coming. They don't like the weather. All right, we got brood that's already emerged. I don't see any. A lot of times they put them just on one or two frames. That's the last place the queen was with some eggs.
Uh -huh. Nothing on that frame. Just real quick inspection. You want to take a quick peek. Especially with them getting all irate. Alright, there we go. There's some emergency cells. Two of them. Oh, there you go. I want to twist it and do too much with it. I'm going to get close up here, but it can damage the queen. Those are emergency cells. That's why they, they look so different than the other hive. These emergency cells are smaller. And that's where eggs were, and they went ahead and said, hey, we need a queen. Let's, let's make a queen. So now we know we got at least two cells, so that's good. We know they're going to make a queen. We want to see if there's any more. Oh, in there. Two more. Those aren't the best because they're joined together, but they are separated enough. We're going to leave them. We'll prune them sometimes, but I don't like pruning too many. If anything, I'll take them and put them in another hive and make another, a whole third hive. But it's only prune the really, really bad ones. I don't. They're halfway decent. I leave them. I've had good, good success that way. All right, so that's it, because that's all nectar. So what happens is these, these ones that are making a queen, they don't have a queen laying. They have nothing to do but wait on that queen, so they load up with nectar. So next week, I'm actually going to come in here and put a second box on here. It's Dan to do it this week, but I'm going to let that queen come on out. And when I go to put a box on, I will not search through here. I'll stick a box on top and go away because what we don't want is to hurt the new queen. She has to get mated. This is the critical time. Yeah, definitely a bad day to do this, I'll tell you. But the whole weekend is going to be like this. I really have no choice. I've got to go through them and they're just all over me. Now that one's stinging me, but he's on my glove. But I might have squished him accidentally and that's what happens. They're not happy. You can see that. So we'll smoke where that bee stung me there. There's another one getting after me. that stinger out of there. A little smoke on there. They're, they're going after me. Well, it's just on the hand there. Once they smell that pheromone. A little smoke on there. Cover that pheromone up. And we'll get a little smoke on here. Get these girls back inside. And we'll get this hive back together. No need to look in here. We know the queen's in there. We're going to leave her alone. There you go. That's it. That's all there is. So when we have we've basically taken this top hive off where they're coming and going here. We moved it. We got into the bottom. There used to be two. Now they're, I mean, there used to be one. Now they're two. No queen, only eggs. They made emergency cells. Perfect. That's what we want. We have the queen being made. We know our queen up here is fine. We move on. So, we move on. Down the yard, we got about eight or nine more to check, but uh, gonna get after it and see if we can keep from getting the next set ornery. The other hives don't seem to be as uh, ornery for some reason. Just over here on this end, for some, I don't know why they're a little more active uh, on this end but then to turn around and do it in the rain man it's just uh yeah i'm asking for it so well all righty i'm gonna let you go i just wanted to show you what a what it looked like what it was supposed to look like and uh you know it don't always look like that they do what they're gonna do so, always an adventure all righty well everybody take care